Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So before we begin guys, we are on episode 99 of this series. Wow, it's absolutely amazing that yeah, 100 will be the next episode. So that should be um, quite interesting when we get to that. And also actually, speaking of milestones, we are currently as of making this 30 subscribers away from 10,000. So... I am absolutely amazed with how much it has grown this week. So just a huge thanks to everyone who has recently subscribed and just continues to come back and support and watch the videos. Just a huge thanks to you all. It is absolutely amazing how much it has grown recently. So just, wow, I'm, I'm lost to words. It is, I've, I've been watching it um, go up the last few days and it's been great, pretty much getting really, really fast. And it's just, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, I cannot thank you guys enough and I have to get a uh, 10k special or well, I haven't even done a 9k special here, <laughs> but I have to try and get um, some, a special video out for that. So um, yeah, just stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, just huge thanks to all you guys um, for everyone who's subscribed because yeah, by the time the, um, this has been out for about a day, it probably would have hit the 10,000 mark. So yeah, just a huge thanks in advance as well. Just wow, absolutely amazing. But anyways, let's get into today's um, system now. So this one is um, from the user Erin Mund. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. And then the system is called the um, the Fasium system. Um, oh yeah, I really hope I'm not scrapping any of these names up. But let's go ahead and uh, give this a search up. So yeah, the right, cap blocks F-A-S-S. -S. Right, here we go. Right here, so let's see what he has prepared for us here. So yeah, all credit goes to him for this. Right, here we go. Oh, right, we've got a lot of reading. Okay, so it's quite laggy in here. So there must be quite a lot of objects in here um, by the looks of it. So let's go ahead over to the star. Right, yeah, very, a uh, lot of lag in here. So must be quite a lot of moons and stuff around since I only see three planets. Right, anyways, so then this system is made um, by an age or an, a oh, no, an alien ancient civilization. So life has a permanent home. Okay, so the star itself is a yellow um, G5V um, class dwarf star. But unlike other stars, the ancients made sure that the star never runs out of fuel. Okay, that's quite cool, actually. Um, so the helium forms around the, a ring around the solar system, protecting it from galactic wind. The star also has a very slow rotation rate. This may be to, due to the giant planet that orbits in retrograde orbit. Okay, so here it is here. Right, that is the star. Right, so moving on to the first object, which is um, this one here. Aqua. Akawa. And the game's just got less laggy. That's weird. Right, so here it is here. Right, so um, it's an Earth-like world, slightly smaller than it, but it's a lush planet of oceanic and terra life. Um, the giant moon that orbits may or it may be from a giant impact. Okay, so it's sort of like one of the theories of the Earth and moon here. Yeah, here it is. So, yeah, that is VSP. Okay, so it's a large and only moon of Akawa. Oh, Akawa. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, with um, this small moon, um, would have never had life and likely its core would have been frozen, um, but it's an active moon. With a small volcano exploding, mostly around it. Um, it makes a thin atmosphere on the northern hemisphere. Okay. Right, so there we go. Right, so the next one is called Ravanius. Right, so that is over here. Right. Um, it's a sub Jupiter. Um, it is not a Jupiter size nor a super Jupiter. This planet is so big and it orbits in upgrade orbit that it has slowed its parent star's rotation. And I guess what it said above. Um, the planet has a few moons and one or one may have life okay there it is there so there we go pretty interesting looking um, gas giant there um but yeah there we go so moving on to the moons right so this is the first one here it's got a little ring on it oh that's cool look at that tiny little ring on it um that is is this the first one or is there any is there any writing about this one i don't think there is okay so i don't think this one's been mentioned okay so yeah, we've got that one there uh next up we've got lure it here also doesn't like oh, that has been mentioned down here Okay, so there we go. So this is a small moon around it. Its atmosphere is smaller than that of Titan in color, but it has an odd hydrocycle. But instead of water, it has a cycle of molten lithium. And when the lithium gets hot enough, it evaporates into the atmosphere, forming clouds where it falls back as molten lithium rain. Okay, that's quite cool. So there we go there. Right, and then the next object is... Oh, no, did we do this one? Did we, did we, I don't think, oh, no, we didn't visit this one. So this, we have this one here as well. It hasn't got anything written about it either. Okay, right. So there we are. Right, so, yeah, I'm not seeing anything about it. Okay, but this one does. So this is, um, this is an odd... Oh, no, no, that's the next planet out, sorry. So, wait, are these all in the... Oh, no, these may be further out objects then. Tephius. Oh, no, Tephius is... Uh, okay, so there it says number five here. So I think these are the next one out. So, uh, but it's a small water world. Obviously, um, it is pulled and squeezed by the giant planet that keeps its core warm. Okay, so that's that's probably the one that has life. And this actually has its own little uh, moons around it as well here. So, moons of moons right here 
So there we go. So it's got those two. Okay, so the other moons here are not mentioned. Uh, so there are all those. And then the remaining objects are, I assume, yeah, over here. Right, so this is Tunista. So it's an odd gas giant, just like Uranus. This um, gas giant has a, suffered a collision, which is why it's tilted on its side. But every week, the southern hemisphere lights up with a bright light. It has been found out that these lights are massive explosions in where new hydrogen gas is somehow injected into the planet with around 100th of the Earth ma or mass put into the planet every week. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, little backstory there. I have to say, I do like the backstories and information people put in these. Uh, next up, we have this one here. Very purple and orange moon here. Okay, so this is... Um, Volunadi. I'm really sorry if I'm saying this wrong. It's a highly volcanic moon. It's not understood why um, Vol's lava is purple. Okay, but people think it may be due to the super hot and runny lithium exploding out of the moon's volcanoes. Okay, cool. Right, and then the next major moon. So it's called Lurid. It's a small moon around. Oh, but around Ra Raven. Okay, so that's the previous planet then. Okay, so we'll have to go back and do that. But first off, we'll go ahead and check out all of these. So I think they're all mostly basic stuff. So. Yeah, there we go. We can see we can see most of them here. They all seem to be pretty basic. Then we've got smooth fuller moons. Yes, yeah, smaller ones out here. Okay, there we go. There it is. So there's a cool look of them. That'd be quite cool. I love them all lined up like that. But anyways, moving on back to this one. Okay, so lure it. So there was one for lure it. I just didn't spot it because the menu wasn't showing it at the time. Okay, so there it is. Right, so Lura. Okay, so um, there's a small moon around Ravenous. It's atmosphere is similar to that of Titan in colour, but it has odd hydrocycle, but instead of water, it has a mold. Oh, no, no, I did read that. No, I was going all over the place because this was, uh, yeah, th this it was a little confusing. Okay, so, yeah, well, we did do that one. All right, cool. So I think that does it for this system. It was quite a short one, I have to say, actually. So maybe we could do a, if I, if I actually have a quick look around, maybe I'll actually get another one in this episode as well. But yeah, this was quite a short one. So, um, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, massive thank you to... Um, the user for sending this in so yeah um that the user was um erin mund hope i'm saying that right if, I, if i'm saying it wrong apologies um to the you there but um yeah it was quite a short one let's just uh, maybe i can get another one done for today's episode as well so i did actually have a backup one just in case because I, whenever i do one system from people i always do have a backup um, in place now in case it is quite a short one so yeah instead of a uh, since I make videos every every two three days now, I don't want to make it the video too short. So um, yeah, I will I'll do another one in here for today. Okay, so the next system which I've literally just got. Okay, so this is some Ren's Husky Twenty One. So this is called the Um System. So I don't know what um, this will have um, included, but I guess we are about to find out. So let's go ahead and give it a search up. So you haven't done a haven't done a um, video of two people's systems in it in a long time actually. Um, since I did my two system rule with per video now, it seems to be a uh, Give me a hard time loading it up, but yeah, here we go. All right, so let's see what he has got in here for us. Okay, so okay, so we've got plenty of objects in here. Okay, so this um looks pretty interesting. All right, so here it is. So the second system of today from a different user. So yeah, like I said, um, first user was Erin Mund. So yeah, thanks to them for sending the first system in. And then the second system for today is from Ren's Husky 21. So yeah, thanks to them for uh, sending this in as well. So yeah, here we go. All right, let's get back into the game now. All right. Let's uh, move, if it would let me, alright, there we go, so right, here it is, so here is the star, so let's um, open this menu, you're getting a bit of lag um, around at the moment, so 25 luminosity of sun, pretty big as we can see there with the mass as well, right, so first up we have got pumpkin venus though, okay, so we've got some interesting uh, mod jokes, or modded objects, because I think it was in the previous episode we saw a mercury version on the pumpkin, which actually looked quite cool, so there's a venus version there, right, now moving on, we've got uh, plutonium here, Okay, ooh, okay, I've seen the, uh, it looks like it's a what even is this object. Yeah, it is, look at that. I haven't seen um, one of these um, being shown off in a while, but I hope it will work in the new version of the game where modded objects don't seem to be working as well. But yeah, we've got a what even is this here, which um, we don't see many of those very often now. So it's good to see um, one of those included in the system every now and then. Right, so there's plutonium. Next up, we've got icy tundra here, and ooh, I'm loving the clouds on that. Oh, look at the clouds. Oh, yeah, look at that, looking good. So yeah, there we go there. That is Icy Tundra. Right, moving on. Okay, so we've got HP2 here. And, oh, this one, oh, this one looks pretty interesting. So here it is. Oh, okay, so it's got, like, a red earth behind it. That The way that looks right there looks awesome. Just the way that shows. That is really, really cool. So, yeah, here we go there. So that is a pretty interesting one, actually, there. So there we go. Right, moving on. Okay, so Mercy we got here. This one looks pretty interesting as well. So, it's, is it a gas giant texture underneath? Oh no, it's a. Huh. It's quite cool. So, it's a. I wonder how they made that. That is a very weird. It's a, it look, it's a pumpkin merged with an earth by the looks of it. 
on a sphere object instead of obviously the pumpkin object. It's got random city lights instead of earth city lights. That is a very intriguing and interesting one um, right there. There we go. Let's put that back on there. So that's, the, that's a pretty interesting one, I have to say. Very uh, nicely done there. Right, uh, moving on, we got um, Mercurius over here. So this one looks like an IO texture with water on it. Um, oh, and a bit of earth texture in there as well, um, I think. It's quite, a, it's quite a weird one. Actually, it may not be um, IO, actually. I'm not sure what texture that is there. But yeah, merge, all merged with an earth as well. Also quite an interesting one there. So yeah, there we go. That is that one. Then we've got Plunet over here, rocking with a green colour. With a slight green tint on the city lights as well there. Looking very nice indeed. Got some uh, green um, sort of water there as well. Looking pretty fine there. Liking that. So yeah, there we go. Right, next up we got HP3 over here. And whoa, look at this. What is this? Okay, so it looks to me like it's one of Saturn's moons, I think. I, th I want to say that's one of Saturn's moons. But yeah, there it is there. That is a furry. Look at this on the other side of it, though. Ho, ho. It's all glowing. We've seen um, objects of this kind before um, as well. But yeah, this is a, look at that. It's a pretty interesting one there. I do like the way that looks, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. So yeah, there we go. That's HP3. Is there a HP2? We went to HP2, and then, oh, there was HP1 as well. Okay, so we did all, oh, no, we didn't, we didn't do HP1, did we? I guess this one's got a blue glow on the back of it. That does look really cool, I have to say. But, yeah, there it is. Do like that, I have to say. So, yeah, there we go. Right, now moving on. Okay, so we've done all of the inner objects, I think, now. So moving on to Rocky Outside. Oh, uh, Rocky Outside Gas Inside. Okay, so I think it's really self-explanatory with the name of it there. It's all 100% hydrogen, yet it's a rocky planet. That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen an object like that before. So it's 100% hydrogen, but it still has 0.00965% water and land. That is a mystery. Anyone, anyone seen anything like that before? That is very interesting. Rocky outside, gas inside. Maybe it's a glitch. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Okay, so next up we've got half half here. So this one is also using the what even is this sort of texture on it. Very, very crazy as we can see there. Very, very glitchy looking. Pretty um interesting there. Then we got um half free. Okay, so it seems like he likes his like back glow on objects. A lot of the nighttime glowing but it shows all weird textures and stuff. So yeah, pretty cool um objects in here. Um half half one. Yes, yeah, so he's got a lot of these objects with glowing bits um in the in the nighttime. Really, really cool though, I like it. It's got a theme of them all in here. And then half half two over here. Again, also with the uh glowing on the back of it there. So yeah, really cool stuff indeed there. Definitely a thumbs up from me. So yeah, there we go there. Pretty uh, pretty cool stuff there. So there we are. Right now moving on. Okay, so that's in a binary with the star that planet. But next object out here we have squared earth. Okay, so we've seen uh we've seen one of these before. So it's the earth texture on the um dice right there. So yeah, there it is. Uh next up we've got this one here. Although, is that the last one? Oh, no, we've got Tangerine next. Second to last object in here. Ah, okay. So, he's used... It looks like he's used the pumpkin texture on a gas giant. A gas giant mix of a pumpkin. That's quite an interesting combo. And it actually does look quite cool with the way he's done it. But, yeah, there it is there. That is very... That is very weird with the way it looks. But, yeah, pretty cool. So, Tangerine. So, yeah, there it is there. So, yeah, very nicely done there, I have to say. Pretty cool. So tangerine, and then the last object of the day is ghost gas fragment. Okay, ah, so it's one of those little fragment objects with a gas giant texture on it. It looks pretty, uh, pretty interesting, um, like that, doesn't it? It's uh, pretty ghostly, um, like he said there. So yeah, one Jupiter, and it's pretty large in size as well. And then it's ghost moon fragment as well. Hmm, pretty interesting. Uh, that is very weird. <laughs> yeah, pretty interesting lineup of objects in here. I had to say. So yeah, pretty cool um, stuff indeed here. But yeah, there we go. So. I think to end off, we might as well go in chart mode. So there we go. Where, where is it? That, I can't see because my Windows toolbar is blocking the Universe Sandbox toolbar. Okay, there we go. So, right, here we are. Whoa, I didn't see this one. What was this? Pumpkin Venus style. Oh, it must have been viewed. We didn't see it from the other side. Now that, that is quite cool. Let's just go out of the chart mode quickly. Okay, so let's go back to that. So we didn't see the other side. Yo, we never saw this. Haha, <laughs> US2. Huh. I like that. That's kind of cool, actually. So, right, there we go. Back to it. Which one is chart mode? Is that one? There we go. So, there we are. Right, so there's that ghost gas. That is a weird thing in here, but 
And there we go. So moving down to all the objects, we've got a ton of uh, these objects. I have to say, look at all these, all these uh, weird-looking uh, glowing ones on the back there. Pretty cool stuff, I have to say there. So yeah, there we are. That is all of the objects in there. I have to say, I did like this one with the blue glow. I think I think that's one of my favourites in there. So yeah, there we all go, guys. That is it for today's video. That's it. We've done two systems. I wasn't expecting to do two, but I thought, why not? Might as well um, throw a second one in since the first one was quite short. And yeah, I definitely don't regret it. I think we've um, pretty cool stuff in here. So yeah, I'll see you again. A massive, massive thank you to the two guys who sent these... Um, systems in so that was erin mund and rens husky um 21 massive thanks to both of you guys for sending these in and yeah that is it for episode 99 so next up is the big 100 and that's actually quite convenient going in with like 10k subs as well so we'll probably have that by then as well so yeah massive thanks for that again in advance as well just absolutely amazing but yeah pretty cool how we can have that and now that one is confirmed it's a it's going to be a massive collab i think there's about eight people who are making the episode 100 system um who wanted to do it so yeah really really interested to see that next episode probably will be quite a long one as well so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah guys just a massive thanks for watching today's video and also subscribe if you're new help us on the i guess still help us on the journey to 10k um since i haven't hit 10k yet but if i already have 10k helps on the journey to 11k now that's gonna be weird uh, changing um to saying 11k now but yeah just a huge thanks to you all again i really really appreciate it and yeah i have to get some sort of special out for 10k at some point but yeah that is everything guys so um yeah like i said leave a like let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video guys subscribe if you're new and yeah i'll see you in the next video goodbye